Ka hea na omakua, na laa holoholona, na kupuna, me ka ua kaukea. Kokua ka ua, malama puuvai hamama, manao hamama. Mahalo nui loa, ko aloha palena ole, mene mene palena ole. Mahalo nui loa kakou, mahalo nui loa, ea mama. Aloha and welcome to today's episode of I Am Aloha. It's so great to be here back again um, with this wonderful topic for today. Today's topic is going to be Manava. Manava is the powers in the now. Yeah, you have the power now. Now is where you can have all your strength. But I'll get into that. I just want to recap real quick what we've had so far. So we had um, Ike, the world is what you think. Kala, there are no limits. Um, Makia, energy follows the attention. And now we're at Manava. Manava, meaning um, the powers in the now. Now, what do we have here with the power of the now? I think it's the most global expression uh, of the Huna principles, um, meaning that that's something that we can find basically everywhere. In every religion, in every philosophy, in every way of thinking that goes into uh, some kind of spirituality, it will always be the powers in the now. Um, of course, what, 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 uh, what does that mean? Splitting it up into past and, and, and future. Um, I want to start with the past. What does it mean about the, what does it say about the past? Basically, we can't change anything about the past. It's already done. It's already happened the way it happened. So the only thing that is left for us is to decide if we want the past to haunt us today or if we want to let go of our past in peace so that we can live a fulfilled present. Now, yes, there's going to be certain things from the past that will uh, be harder to let go and I'm, I'm feeling it that, that the fear comes up like wait a minute there's there certain things I can't let go because I needed them to learn and there's a huge difference between letting go something in peace and forgetting something you're not supposed to forget whatever happened in your past um, you have made the learnings that you needed to learn from whatever happened. The problem is that if you don't let go of your past in a peaceful way, it's going to get stuck to you and you're going to get stuck with it. And you're going to get to points in your life, not every time and not always for the same things, but you're going to find things on your path um, that you won't be able to do because you're still holding on to something from your past. And that's meaning um, emotions, fears. Um, yeah, like my, my, ten, my, my three favorites, um, anger and fear and sadness, basically. Those three things, if you keep holding them on from from the past. Um, a good example that I like to use in that case is one story that I heard of a teacher. Again, of a teacher in a class doing something with their students. Um, pouring a glass of water and then saying, okay, hold on to this glass. Now, if you hold on to a glass of water and just imagine how it feels holding this glass. Probably at the beginning, it doesn't feel too bad. It just feels like you're holding a glass of water. But the longer that you keep holding it, 
it's going to feel heavier and heavier and heavier and that's going to get worse and worse the longer you hold on to it so if you put that into perspective of what's happening with your emotions maybe some anger you had against someone from last year or something that you didn't let go probably in the meantime it became way bigger but probably if you're not if you're um not lucky that thing is going to get bigger on the underneath the surface so you're not going to be even be conscious that it's gotten bigger you're just going to feel it in your back and it's not going to be easy for you you're going to get to points where it's not going to be easy to go ahead because you're still going to have that anger holding on to you and uh, uh, an another picture that i like to draw uh, that i like to draw, draw for this is imagine that you have a huge backpack one that is so big that you can't fit through a door and it's like you're standing there and you like to walk through this door but you can't because this backpack is not letting you pass the door so you're gonna have to take that backpack off so that you can pass through and that's the thing that you you're gonna have to let go and I know that's one of the fears that we as humans have because sometimes we're not sure what's going to happen if we let this go if you let go of something that's that's bugging you that's bothering you um i think sometimes it's not that you don't want to let go of whatever you're holding on to but sometimes it's more the fear of what's going to happen if you let go you're going to have a hole there that needs to be filled and you don't you're you don't know what you can fill it with and that's the beauty actually that's why i love helping people to let go of things because the beauty is that you get this space around you that you can fill with new stuff and new positive things you can well you can decide you can either put in more anger <laughs> but you can decide to fill it up with beautiful things with gratefulness thankfulness love um happiness you know like all kinds of beautiful things that you can fill this up with and that's going to make things for you easier so that you can keep on going in a different kind of way in a in a more positive way so that's the thing about the past coming back to manava the power is in the now we don't want to we we don't want to think about the past we don't want to have the past um making us now any trouble <laughs> and the other thing is going to the other side which is the future how many people spend their time planning ahead and ahead and ahead and once they reach a goal they have their next plan and their next plan and you know they keep on planning and it feels like they're planning their whole life. Mm, I like to take as a picture for this one. I I think maybe you've seen it. It's also something that was shown um around the world on Facebook, I think. You know, one of those stories of a young girl saying, "Oh, when when I grow up everything's going to be better." Then she grows up and then, "Oh, when I finish studying, everything's going to get better and then after studying oh when i have a job everything's going to get better and then oh when i get married everything's going to get better you see how she's living in this constant spiral of whenever i do something then then everything's going to get better but nothing does because i can't control the future i don't know if you heard of that cute saying if you want to make god laugh tell him about your plans I love this one. Because it's true. If we plan so much, it's 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 never going to be there's always something going to happen or you know like for me it was like that when I moved to Germany I came here with my 18 young years it's wanting to study and I don't know study something and become something awesome and then go and conquer the world. um i'm still here <laughs> no i have started to conquer the world in a different kind of way 
But th- I needed to find that for myself, you know. But whatever I planned back then, it didn't, it didn't come true. And that's kind of like the thing that I'm saying is if we live too much in the future, we're going to miss out on the now, on, the, on what's happening today, you know. And today is so grateful. We, can, we have the power today to decide so many things. You you can, if you're in the now, right now, you can decide so many beautiful things. You can go into your emotions. You can do a lot of things and just create your life new every moment. So the, the exercise that I was thinking about for today, which is for being in the now for the manava, um, because I feel that sometimes... Um, Going into the now seems similar to meditation, like there's this big pressure about how it's supposed to be and then everyone does it differently and somehow it doesn't work and then we're just afraid of it and then we just don't do it. (laughs) But there are actually really easy practices that each of us can do on a daily basis to practice to be in the now. And that's better than than pushing yourself to to meditate 10 minutes every day you're gonna see this is going to bring you into the now far more often and easier than other exercises i guess so the idea is i'm going to take as an example um when you have to walk up a flight of stairs It doesn't matter if it's like a huge staircase or if it's just three steps. The idea is that while you walk up the steps, you concentrate on yourself, on how does it feel lifting one leg, lifting the other leg, how do your knees feel, how does your hip feel, Um, how does your back feel, yeah? Are you holding on to the rail with one hand or not? Where are your arms? What's your posture? And that's it. You see, this is really easy. And you can do this with walking up the stairs. You can do this whenever you do sports. Like if you guys are in completely into sports, do it while you're doing sports. You can do it at any time you're doing something where you don't have to use your head too much. Um, For example, cutting vegetables for when you're making dinner or um, a nice exercise actually also when you're showering. You know, imagine how the water is flowing over your body and how does that feel? How how are your feet feeling? And this might sound um, a little bit weird, but you can actually really... Put this on to whatever, just maybe not while you're driving, but at anything you're doing where you don't need your head too much for it, you can just go and scan through your body. You know, like you can start at the toes and go up, work your way up to the head or the vice versa, whichever feels best for you. And do this whenever you think about it. Just scan yourself. If you want to take it a step further, when you finish scanning your own body, you go into your heart and ask yourself how you are feeling. You're going to love this because this exercise is taking you into a mindfulness with yourself, but not just with yourself. Because of this mindfulness with yourself, it's bringing you into the now. You're going to be in a different power position and you're going to be able to register yourself whenever you're feeling angry or sad or scared. So for example, when if you keep on practicing this, this kind of um, now exercise, you're going to see that the next time you're going to get angry or that you are in fear because of something, you're going to be able to to really bring yourself out of the situation and become the observer of your own feelings and then you're going to observe yourself and once you are your own observer you're going to be able to decide 
if you want to be a victim or if you want to be a doer or if you want to be someone that just doesn't do anything and just stays behind and just um just becomes the observer maybe as well just observe yourself observe your emotions how they are feeling in that moment and depending on on that on on how you observe yourself you're going to be able to make better decisions about yourself about your life because if you observe yourself and if you feel you're angry you you maybe you decide not to be angry maybe you decide it's not worth it to become angry right now and maybe you decide that two or three times don't push yourself i mean if you don't you don't have to but you will you you can just whenever you think about it practice this and you're going to be able to get gain a completely different view of yourself and how you feel and how you are inside and decide certain things better and that is being in the now having the power to make a decision to decide if you want to be love or if you want to be anger or if you want to be fear or if you want to be happiness you can decide that every moment and you have the power every moment <sighs> so yeah that's the exercise for this week i hope you'll like it i love it it's one of my favorite exercises bring myself into the now every now and then i depending on how if i'm if i'm having a not very good day i try to do this more often to bring myself back into the uh yeah into into a different kind of level to be there so um yeah it's a really nice exercise i hope you enjoy that one um i wish you a very beautiful and wonderful weekend and a very blessed and even better next week and i am looking forward to hearing uh talking to you again next week <laughs> until then have a very good time a blessed time and a hui ho bye bye thanks a lot for tuning in again i hope you were able to have some good takeaways for yourself please don't forget to subscribe to my podcast and if you'd like to receive some information about actual energies and more inspirational information sign up to my newsletter you can find the link on my website www.iamaloha.de I am looking forward to talk to you again next time and until then aloha mahalo e ho mai ka i kako e a hui ho